can't read something, let me know. Analyze it like you might analyze a chart, a graph, or a, a cartoon, or something along the line. There's a lot of information located within the diagram that you can pull out and then use uh, even in an essay question. What is the comment? Comment, that's something that they all own. Minister's house, yep. Right here's the minister's house. If you were looking at this, what do you think, knowing it's a New England town, what would be your focus? What would be the first thing that you would look for? Um, the church. The church. Okay. Which seems to be the center. And then as was pointed out, the minister's house is right next to it. Now that'll tell us something also. What else do you, would you focus on? Town hall meetings. The town hall. And what's right near the town hall? The village green and the school. That's a very important feature as we'll see in the colony, the Massachusetts Bay Colony. One of the first colonies that are going to require uh, an education. What else would you look for? Um, swamp and woodlands. Excuse me? Swamp and woodlands. Okay, so they're pretty well Surrounded. Now, what about all of this? How would that be held? For hunting? Wood. Chop down the trees. Okay, but who would own it? Indians? No, not the Indians. Everyone? Everyone. So, in some ways, it appears that it's a very um, democratic type of a society, but what we're going to see is that in other ways, it's not going to be very democratic. So, let's just take this apart. You can see that there's a number of people that are within the area around the village green. Off the top of your head, what would be their religion? What would be their religion? Puritans, Puritans. So this is a type of a situation where everything that you see here is for one particular group, the Puritans. This is long before other groups are gonna start coming into the particular colony. So this is where they're gonna pray. Now, anyone can go to the church. It doesn't necessarily mean that they will have rights within the church. Anyone can attend the town hall, but it doesn't mean that they have any rights within the particular village. In other words, the key to being a very important part of this component here is the fact that you are a Puritan. You're a Puritan. Now, within the village, which you really can't see by the chart, you're going to have groups you're going to have basically a common group and you're going to have an upper group, an upper group. In order to run the particular colony or even to take part in the particular village, you have to be a Puritan who has undergone a spiritual change. In other words, what they call a calling. And that sets you aside 
from the other members of the particular, particular group. Once you've undergone that calling, then you have the right to vote. You have the right to take part in the decisions that take place within the, within the colony or within the village. In other words, it sets you apart. So even though your textbook says that we're, looks like we're talking about a democracy, we're really not talking about a democracy. Like we did with the compa uh, Mayflower Compact. It looks like it's a democratic ideal, but it, what it is, is it's a beginning. Something that is going to start within the particular village. Questions? Yes? Um, about that spiritual thing that God to like join the society, basically, does that include women back then? No. Okay. No, not at all. Only the men took part in the voting. The women should certainly go to the meeting, but they're not going to take part in the in the voting. There's an example of something that makes it undemocratic. Now, as we move on, other groups are going to move into the Massachusetts Bay Colony, and this is what's going to cause friction between the two, between the Puritans and Anglicans, is the one that your book discusses. Any other questions? So from a diagram, you can learn a great deal about what is going to go on within the particular society. Now, the most important Puritan ideal that we introduced last week was conformity. And that's what this particular diagram also shows, conformity. It's centered here. And in many cases, these are the same people here that are also here. You get the idea how to take a, a picture apart. Problems, questions? No? If you looked at the diagram, you could see that the church and the state were fairly close by. And since I said they were both headed by the same individual, this would be called a theocracy, which is not necessarily always very, very democratic. So a typical Puritan village, and they can stick with the Conformity the idea. Trained and educated ministry. One of the first colleges, 1636, Harvard. The purpose of Harvard was to train the ministers for the particular church. They had to know everything that was in the Bible, because that's what they would be preaching from. And then other schools were formed afterwards. We had about seven universities in the colonies by the time we get to the 18th century. Now, what do you need as a basis is right here. The Massachusetts law, look at the date, 1647. It's one of the first acts that were passed that required every town of 50 families that they had to provide for a school and a headmaster for their children, boys as well as girls would go to the particular one-room schoolhouse. They're all over New England, even today. A lot of them are museums. But this is a start. It was important that they knew how to read and how to write. The literacy in New England was extremely high. I'll go back. As compared to England, 70% of the people could read and write. That's very high for supposedly a colony that was only important because of 
obtaining its raw materials. So you have literacy, and you have education, and you have the beginning of a university system open to more people than would be opened in, in England. Remember, last week I said to you, focus on what develops within the colonies that is different from what goes on in England. And this is it. Question here. Now, if you need a Bible, and you need it for many people so that they can read what should be introduced into the colony. Printing press. A printing press. In 1638. One of the first that was in the colony. 